Hey there, quick video today. We have been selling a lot of batteries lately. These guys, the uh, scooter batteries. And as a result of that, a lot of people have been asking why some of them don't wake up or some of them don't stay on, right? And uh, the issue is that these have been in a pallet for a long time. And so some of them have gone into a hibernation mode where the, the BMS turns itself off so that it could uh, not completely discharge the cells down to zero. So these are not at zero, right? They're, they're around 30 volts, but the BMS is off. So when you put leads to measure uh, here at the, at the leads or whatever, then you won't get a voltage there because the MOSFETs are turned off and that's normal. Let me show you how to fix that, right? Okay, step one, when you get your batteries, let's say that you order two batteries. First thing you gotta do is charge them because there's a good chance that they're completely discharged, right? Um, I have at this point recommended two chargers. There's a little one here, right? That'll do two amps. And then this big one here that will do uh, 18 amps so the problem with the there's a, an issue with this 18 amp one the big one will not charge a completely dead battery so there has to see a voltage there and then once it sees that voltage then it'll start charging so you won't be able to charge two completely dead batteries with this guy you could once they're on It'll, it'll have no problem. Once they're on and they're discharged, right, down to zero, like the, the, these won't go into hibernation mode every time. I think uh, they'll go there if you leave them, like die uh, and you leave them discharged for a long time, then after a long time, it'll go into that hibernation mode, right? But if you're using them every day, charging, discharging them, uh, it'll be fine. They'll stay on enough for this guy to recognize them and charge them. This is 18 amps. Um, it's a bit too much for a single one, maybe two. It's around there. You'll, you'll, it's not as good for the batteries to charge them that quick. Uh, but the, nothing will happen to these. Uh, it's safe to charge them. It's just you'll degrade them a little bit charging them that fast. If you have a, a large group of these cells, then this, this charger is perfect. So you're charging a bunch of these. I recommend using this one, right? So, in order to, to charge the, the completely dead ones, the little one works better because this one doesn't need a uh, voltage to check a voltage to, to read it. So I'm gonna show you here, this one is the dead one. Let me show you how it's dead. Okay, I plugged uh, the meter here through this using that cable. There's no power, right? That one's dead. This one on the other hand, so you see that, that one's on. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the small charger on this dead battery, right? And you see the light on the charger itself. There we go. And the fact that it turns red means that it's charging. So once this turns green, the battery will fully, or it's gonna be fully charged. Okay, so now we have finished charging that battery using the little small charger as you can see here it's just 38 volts right but here's what typically happens when you disconnect the charger then there's no power right there's no power when you connect your your dongle yeah no light no nothing if you connect the big charger right the 18 amp charger to this battery same thing nothing happens see that because this battery is still off even though it's fully charged already it's off, still in hibernation mode. So to take it out of hibernation mode, what you have to do using a small cable, any cable, as long as it fits in the little pins here, you have to bridge both negatives of both connectors. So you bridge negative from the little connector to negative from the big connector. Now be careful and not, don't bridge it to the positive because I don't know, I think you might short it out. You have to pay attention and it goes from the negative pin, you gotta pay attention, here's the negative pin, to the negative pin of this one right here. Let's do it. 
uh, it didn't work. Man, it works. It only works with some batteries. It doesn't work with all batteries. Okay, okay, so the next step that you will have to do, if that didn't work, then what you do is you cut this connector. Well, you, you cut this connector because you probably don't have these, this, uh, the little connector, right? The charging port in here. So what you can do is cut it, you install an XT60 connector, and then what you do is you apply the charger directly here and you apply a charge current to this momentarily and until the battery wakes up, right? Now, I, I won't do that in the, on camera here because I have this connector and I'll just use it. But for most of you guys, you're not gonna have access to this connector. And I decided not to buy it because it's too expensive and we really don't need it. We only need it once to wake up these batteries from hibernation mode and then after that, they're fine. So I'm gonna put the dongle here so that we can see the light come up. And this is the charger, the small charger. And we're gonna apply voltage momentarily. Okay, you see that? The light turned on. And there we go, the light came back on now. And now it's staying on. Now we can disconnect this. Boom. There we go. And now your batteries are on. Now, once they're on like this, they will stay on, right? You can put a load in here and uh, this guy is sending commands for to the battery to stay on and then work. Uh, you could also now use the big charger. There's the uh, 18 amp charger to charge this. And now that it sees a voltage, there we go, 2.72 amps. So it is charging but it's at the voltage where this charger recognizes the battery's almost fully charged. So now it's tapering off, right? And it's gonna go down all the way down to zero and then the, the charger is gonna turn off. So this charger, uh, yeah, it needs a battery that is not completely dead. This, the little one, you could use it in completely dead batteries and you can uh, charge them. Then you'll have to wake them out of hibernation and then after that, you just use your dongle. It's a bit of a process, but you should only have to do this once the first time. And as long as you don't let your batteries completely go dead uh, for months uh, or long periods of time, then you should be fine. But even if that happens, then you'll just come back and, and wake them up all individually, right? If you, however many you have of these. So there we go. Hopefully this helps all of you guys that are buying these batteries or are trying to figure out how to, how to use them. Uh, yeah, one last thing. Most of you guys that are buying these batteries this week is to extend the life or capacity of your Blue Eddy, right? Which is pretty cool. This little unit is awesome. Uh, and yeah, if you don't want to build something, then this is the way to go. But stay tuned because I am working on the DIY version of that. And it's in this case right here. So see that right there? And I'm working on the PCB to put all of these. Oh, and it's using those same batteries that, that, that you order, right? Except this one will have six of those, which is gonna be just a shy of three kilowatt hours, which is more than the Blue Eddy. And I think all of this stuff is gonna be super easy to install because I'm gonna do all the work of figuring stuff out and I'm gonna have one massive PCB in here and all you have to do is just connect stuff, right? So no figure now, you just have to build it. And I think it's gonna come out to like less than half of the Blue Eddy, but it's gonna have more battery than the Blue Eddy. Like 50% more battery, right? So three kilowatt hours instead of two kilowatt hours. Um, so that video is coming up. I'm, there's, I have a bunch of these projects going on and they're going slow, but this is coming out pretty soon. All right, share and like this video and subscribe. Come on, if you wanna see some of this stuff, you gotta subscribe to the channel. Okay, bye.